Hi guys, Bartek here. Uh, in this episode, I will show you how I make uh, my own hives uh, from the bottom to the very top. Uh, maybe without the roof because I don't have a sheet of uh, papers uh, in the steel yet. Uh, but everything, all the boxes, all the bottoms, everything uh, what I need. <coughs> uh, for a beekeeping, I used that size of frames. They are more or less A4 format. It's uh, 370 by uh, 260 millimeters, but inside it's more or less A4. And uh, so far, I use those uh, styrofoam. Uh, it's a if you're if you're not familiar, it's very similar to uh, styrofoam, but it's more durable. Uh, and the problem with those hives is that. Um, bees are biting it. I'm not sure if it will be here. And here there are some some holes. Uh, plus those have a um, few years already, and uh, I need to clean clean them up. I need to replace them. Um, first idea was to build the same uh, style. Uh, but the problem with this uh, star is uh, is a price. Uh, but the even bigger problem is uh, availability. So that's why I decided to make it from uh, plywood. Uh, frame will be uh, wooden, and inside for the uh, thermal isolation, I will use a traditional uh, styrofoam, three centimeters, which should be uh, good enough. I would like to have a box. Uh, for five uh, frames like this one, uh, ten, sorry, ten, and uh, between those frames there is a separator which is one centimeter. Uh, that <coughs> that frame has more or less an inch uh, width, so it's a two point five uh, centimeter plus uh, one centimeter uh, for a spacer, it's a 3.5 uh, centimeter and because I need 10, so it's a 35 centimeters uh, and there's a one um, so there's one distance separator before the very first one, so that's why we have 36 centimeters, and that would be uh, very correct if that would be in a library or laboratory. Uh, but because we are in a beekeeping, we need to have some some space for movement because. Uh, wood can expand, uh, bees can add some wax and so on and so on and also this, those separators are not very very precise so I would add at least one centimeter um, one maybe 1.2 so we need at least 37 to 37.5 uh, centimeters uh, length in this direction, as I uh, already mentioned, uh, it's a f here we have 360, but here on the top is 390.2. So 390.5, 395 should be okay. up to 390.8 I would say so we have two dimensions X and Y it's a 37 up to 
37.5 centimeter and on this it's a 39.5 up to 39.8 uh, centimeter and that's uh, there are internal dimensions uh, the thickness of that uh, frame of, uh, of, of the box is determined by uh, the styrofoam, which is three centimeters. That's the view from the uh, from the very top. I'm not sure if my camera can uh, catch it. Yeah. So uh, 3.5 centimeters is a one frame plus one separator multiplied by 10. It's a 35 centimeters plus one uh, separator because if you have 10, so there will be before the very first we will have one more separator, so it's 36 and because of this um, extra space it's like a 37, maybe 37.5 not too much because uh, on the other way I could, I would, I would not be able to close um, hive to avoid uh, traveling bits from the top to the bottom box because they are like a, like a stack and the same uh, for, for the other dimension it's 39.5 maybe 39.8 that's the internal uh, dimension and the width of the frame is uh, 3 centimeters so from here to here 3 centimeters um, this, this is the uh, width of the uh, wooden frame because as I mentioned uh, at the beginning I would like to cover the sides using four millimeters uh, plywood. Uh, I built uh, two boxes so far and the four millimeters are good enough. So I would stay with those four millimeters. Um, I don't want to add too thick um, uh, plywood because then the whole box uh, becomes heavier and heavier. It's the very next day. I have already prepared the uh, bottom and top part of my box. And uh, today what I'm going to do is to make this uh, spacer for the head. And uh, because the weather is pretty windy outside but it's not raining, uh, so I would like to uh, cut some uh, pieces from, from the plywood because my garage is too small to do this inside and I have to do this outside, so uh, I have to do this when the, the weather is not raining. Um, but what we did um, yesterday, maybe I will show you, uh, I'm not sure if my camera uh, can show it correctly, to be in that way. So that's the uh, bottom part, actually it's, it's the bottom part of the upper uh, box. This is the uh, top part of the bottom box.
I prepared uh, all pieces for, uh, for frames and uh, I also prepared the second set uh, for the second box. So what we have here? Here we have um, doors. There are two type of uh, beams. One is those two with uh, two cuts. One is outer for upper frame and the uh, uh, second one is for uh, B frames. And those two are just for the uh, upper outer uh, box. I would like to make this uh, miter cut, 45 uh, degrees angle, uh, just for one side for now because I didn't measure uh, the, the final length. Uh, I have a few more pieces to cut and there's a second set, so I'll do this off camera. Uh, but what is important to mention is that it's my uh, second attempt to, to build a hive. One is already bizarre uh, testing it. <coughs> uh, so that version will be, I hope, uh, improved. And to be able to repeat this in the future, I took this scrap of wood, as you can see, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a really scrap. Um, I marked this as a B-Box frame template version 2, number 1 is on the field, <coughs> and uh, that's the pattern for cuts. Okay, you can see it is this one, and it is this one. And it is also true uh, for yeah, for this one for sure. But the top has two different uh, types of cuts. Yeah, so that side and that side is the same. <coughs> uh, so having this template uh, reduces um, amount of uh, measurements. And it's uh, it's really accurate. It's very easy to set up a uh, uh, table also, and uh, and make this uh, this pieces uh, repeatable over and over again. It's a day three of making a new hive. Mm -hmm. As you can see, I have two uh, sets: the bottom parts, top parts, bottoms, tops. Uh, those will connect our bottoms and tops and also what I uh, prepared already are small scraps that will go this way and this is what I uh, mentioned yesterday that will be a support for uh, inside uh, plywood so maybe you will see here I will nail one here and I will uh, nail another one and there will be no gap in between uh, there will be styrofoam uh, in between so these will not have access at least not easy access uh, to styrofoam uh, what I need to do right now is to make those frames I made a simple pattern because uh, nailing corners when they are miter cut 45 uh, degrees angle, it's always a pain. And uh, one pro tip do your calculations and math, uh, especially if you do this uh, after your work, uh, like I do, uh, just at the beginning of your uh, hobby day. Because yesterday uh, I was working to um, 11 p.m. and I was struggling with all those dimensions so hard uh, just because I couldn't trust that my initial calculations were correct. Uh, they were. So do your calculation, calculations first, 
because then when you become more and more tired, you just need to have this repeatable uh, task like uh, nailing, gluing. You know, all pieces should be ready in front. It works pretty simple. It's a 12 millimeters plywood here. Uh, there's for the outer uh, square. This is for inner. There's a four centimeters uh, gap in between. Uh, those bars have just three, so there is a uh, space. Okay, let's go like this. Uh, because my garage is, is quite small, I have just small template. And then I will use two additional uh, pieces of 12 millimeters uh, plywood just to support the, the ends of uh, of the bars. So yeah, so there's a uh, yeah, it's a bottom bar. Another one, and um, that corner is open, and that's why I pull holes because sometimes there are some uh, not clean cuts. And because I do uh, sanding at the end, <coughs> it's just easier. Okay, now I can keep them like this and nail. Uh, I will nail them just to keep the, the shape, uh, but I will use screws uh, to, um, to screw all the pieces together, so the nailing will not be the main uh, uh, joint, uh, the sc screw will be. So that's how it <coughs> the, the main frame uh, of the box will look like. Here I will have frames in this direction. And because in this uh, direction they will be hanging, so the whole load, um, the whole weight of the, of the bees, honey, frames, everything, will be on those two uh, beams. That's why <coughs> Uh, that's why those supports, the solid one, is under uh, the bars that uh, carry the whole weight. Those just structural uh, to keep this um, square, it's like a, a drywall. So right now it is, it's shaky, but once the plywood will be inside, will be nailed, to all the corners and inside and outside, it will be pretty uh, durable. Now I'm going to um, screw all the corners, uh, also join uh, supports with, with the frames uh, using also screws. Everything uh, was screwed. Now we have two boxes. I can slide them one on another. Here I have a space for, for frames. Yeah. There is a little bit of room for, for mistake when I will be stacking them all together. Yeah, so it's uh, to make it comf comfortable uh, during operations. Now it's time to uh, prepare uh, plywood. All boards prepared. Here I have the uh, internal one. That's for the uh, side where, we will, where the, the frames will be hanging on. 
uh, yeah, there's a set of two and as you can see uh, there are two sizes one is a little bit uh, longer but uh, narrow the other one is a little bit shorter but higher that's because this higher one will go here like this so on the opposite side <coughs> and this one will go here okay so basic framing is done as you can see there is still a bit of room for this for me everything is pretty nice so now it's time to uh, put a styrofoam here in the empty spots and then close all these uh, boxes using pieces that I have behind me I need to uh, sand it to make those edges uh, uh, soften uh, but that's how it is as you can see there's uh, one layer of plywood uh, there is a styrofoam inside and external uh, plywood um, so that's what is really solid right now even in a in the cross forces, it's uh, it's pretty durable. As I said, it's uh, it's like a drywall. Uh, the whole idea and the whole load will be on those two uh, bars. So I guess that it will work. Of course, there are a few things to improve, like those screws. Uh, they should be removed because they are uh, too time consuming. Uh, but that's uh, for the next. Uh, version so far it looks okay tomorrow I will uh, trim the, if, uh, the two, two, two long uh, plywoods sand it and paint and it's a day four and yes I've got two blue Suru uh, t-shirts so it's not the same as yesterday uh, <coughs> as you can see in both uh, boxes are already, already painted uh, what I did, uh, I prepared the uh, handles, they are screwed in the three places to the main uh, bar uh, and they are screwed to the, on the side where the frames will be hanging on. Yeah, so I will lift, uh, I will lift frames with honey and bees uh, on the same bar as they are hanging on, not on the opposite one. Uh, it's, it is glued and screwed and also painted. There are two, uh, two boxes like this. Uh, also, I had to add some screws for the outer uh, plywood. And uh, let me show you why. Uh, the quality of this plywood is, uh, isn't good, but you know, that's the game experience. Then I have a six millimeter uh, plywood. I goes. I, I hope that you will see. As you can see, there are layers, and here is an empty space. And here we have the same. It's an empty space. Here is even a second spot, but on the other side 
it looks fine so it is very inconsistent and uh, there's a six six millimeters I was using four millimeters here and uh, let's say in 80% of places uh, my nail gun was okay uh, but in those 20% uh, nails went through uh, the plywood uh, even the pressure was reduced and I was uh, using this already with this plywood I mean with this thickness uh, with these nails and uh, in the past everything was fine but uh, what we learn all the time we should at, le at least so uh, in the next uh, version this is version number 2 but in the ne next version just to avoid and uh, to not have to count uh, quality of the plywood uh, I will make a thinner but the idea I will take a solid wood and I will enforce corners like this and then I will nail uh, through the uh, solid wood so the quality of the plywood will not uh, matter that much at least not for uh, for nailing so that's uh, that's for the next version uh, working on uh, this version um, template it's very uh, very useful so if you are working on your own uh, size I mean on your box uh, probably different than mine because uh, mine is called a um, greater Poland uh, size is it's, uh, it's for our re region uh, so my dimensions probably will not help you uh, but the whole idea the whole concept uh, will work worldwide uh, so I have two boxes uh, and now I'm going to prepare a uh, bottom but this uh, episode will be too long maybe I will even uh, cut it in half and the bottom part will be the separate episode as well but before you leave uh, I am from home where nothing is a really uh, scrap really rubbish until it really is so uh, when I was cutting those grooves like this one or like this one or like this one uh, I've got uh, pieces like this very small, probably not very useful, you may suppose, but working on a, on a bottom, I will use this, let me show you, there will be a plywood uh, 4 millimeters, but that doesn't matter, uh, if, there's a en if there's an entrance to the hive, I, can, I will make this open or close, open and close. And to make it accessible for me, I need to have this handlebar. And that size would be perfect. Not heavy, not too heavy at least, uh, not too light to be, uh, don't, do not break easily. And uh, that's why never throw away your material because it is still very valuable. So, thanks for watching. Uh, this episode, maybe two, I will see. And uh, welcome to another episode about building.